if I'm not paying attention to her. <laughs> it's like a little two-year-old saying, mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> I am Claire Peters, and this is Hazel's story for GOP. I love you. <laughs> I'm the executive director for Wild by Nurture, a nonprofit wild rehabilitation center run out of my home. And I rehabilitate, release hundreds of animals every year. Thank you, everybody. Hazel came to me as an orphan baby. As soon as I got her, I realized she had pneumonia. And this happened at a really crucial time in her growth, and it caused her teeth to misalign. And my beautiful little friend. With their teeth, they're constantly growing, and Hazel can no longer cut her own teeth. No stealing her banana. She needs teeth trimming every three weeks for the rest of her life. Who is my little lunch guy? She would never have been able to survive in the wild after that. So she lives with me permanently. Groundhogs are hilarious. They have a lot of personality. If I'm busy, I can't let her just run around the house because she'll jump on the counter, she'll steal food, she'll turn on all my faucets and leave them running. I did not. I'm considering getting rid of all of my plants because she loves to dig in and knock them all over. She loves to move her hands around when I get her spots. She'll curl up in my bed, and she just loves to snuggle. <laughs> she loves to snuggle with my kids, with my husband. She gets to know a person, and when she sees them, she remembers the kind of relationship that they have, which I think is really cool and shows her intelligence and her level of awareness. She's so good. <laughs> People are often, if they don't know I have a ground dog, they're like, whoa, what was that? At the moment, she's in hibernation. That's for about six months of the year. She's a friend. The I had to do a lot of research on that. I had to make sure that I set up a room that was around 40 degrees. I have an enclosure in that room and it had this den area that I created with lots of blankets. They're very intelligent. They have separate areas in their dens. Their dens are like a home. Listen for teeth trimming. She still has to get her teeth trimming every three weeks. I bring her to Cornell Wildlife Hospital where they trim her teeth. My friendlier possums, they totally interact. Hazel will go over and steal some of their food when they're eating. They don't snuggle together, but they will just kind of hang out together. You are the cutest. The goal is always released back to the wild. We are returning the muskrat back to his home. But then I have a special license for the animals who can't be released back to the wild to provide permanent sanctuary. You're such a goofball. I probably work at least 10 hours a day, seven days a week. There's no vacations, <laughs> but I love working with animals. <laughs> I'm gonna let him in. I'm gonna let her in in a minute. Feeding babies. <laughs> My first year, it was 20 animals. The second year, it was 80. Then it was 175. This past year, it was 350. I'm just so excited to have her as a part of our family. <laughs> The day she came into my life, so much more joy also came into my life. When you hear about an animal in need, how can you say no? 